Of spring is the return of the annual staple of spring right here in Western New York. Yeah, it's Plantasia and uh, Western New York's Garden and Landscaping Show is back this mm -hmm. weekend. And Kevin O'Neill's back with us here to tell us about Be it. Because I'm a walking stereotype, I had a Guinness last night with my daughter at the Irishman, and we saw Irish dancers, and it was it was festive. Wow, yeah, good. Great. You're, you're all giddy this yeah. morning. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's still getting no, on. I'm not a big Guinness fan, but I got to do it once a year. Uh huh. Once a year. Or an Irish car bomb. Just That's a, how I prefer my Just Guinness. a tradition. <laughs> like corned beef. Just okay. All right, fine. Uh, anyways, yeah, so another a rite of spring and a rite of March is Plantasia. It is the landscaping show. It's back in Hamburg. Take a look. We love our plants at Channel 2. And no, not just Ron plants. I'm talking about these kinds. And Plantasia, Western New York's Garden and Landscaping Show, is back today through Sunday. I stopped by the Fairgrounds Event Center in Hamburg yesterday while the flowers, plants, and entire trees were put into place. Show chairman Chris Zeiss says this year's theme is, quote, a new twist on an old classic. Right behind me, there's a um, potato planter. There's different seed sowers and then a, a couple of old vehicles. So it just adds some interest for people to, to, to look at and talk about. Yep, plowshares and pickup trucks are placed alongside the petunias this year. Plantasia features over 100 booths, gardens, and huge displays relating to landscaping and everything on your outdoor to-do list. And maybe a few things on your wish list. Ah, yes, yeah, still got it. It's remarkable to see the work ahead of time, but the show itself is always lovely, and it's because of the awesome Western New York locally owned landscaping and garden companies here. Hey, grow local. The biggest mistake people make with landscaping is planting the wrong plant in the wrong place. And then the plant gets a bad rap, when in reality the plant's great, but it doesn't work in full sun, doesn't work in full shade, things like that. So there's a lot of different parameters involved with the plant material. So if you go to one of the local garden centers, they have certified nursery and landscape professionals. They have educated people that know what they're selling, the products. A lot of it are grown right here in Western New York. Lots of educational seminars and a children's garden as well. Live entertainment. The show opens at 10 a.m. today through Sunday. The website is plantasiany.com. It's just, it feels nice to see flowers and yeah. smell flowers and even smell mulch. Uh, and stuff like that. So it's today through Sunday at, uh, at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. So the, the, the Daybreak uh, St. Patrick's Day mix oh, yeah. that Pete Ooh. obviously gave me a bunch of great songs for, uh, a, a criticism, not enough local artists. So I added six local artists to the uh, St. Patrick's Day. A bunch Day. of jacked up? Uh, uh, Crick, Crick, uh, they're not on Spotify. Oh, uh, Crickwater, Leftovers, Blarney Bunch, Penny Whiskey, McCarthyism, Brian Quigley, all now. I look up St. Patrick's Day, you know, ultimate St. Patrick's Day mix. Uh, and Daybreak Buffalo, and you'll find this little mix that, that I put together with pizza. Wow, well yeah. done. And local artists now. Love it. All right. Thank you, Kev.